I'm Big Daddy Bam Bam, aka the Chicken Wing. And a lot of people ask me, why? Why? Why do we love the villains? Why? You gotta be a bad guy. We will indulge. Why do we love the villains? Why do you love the bad guy? The antagonist, he comes and he gets in your face and he's so bad and you love to hate him. Just love to hate him and hate that you love him. Well, the new movie, The Joker's coming out and I got a dark web sneak peek of it. It's awesome. It's just awesome. Let me say that first of all. If you can think of anything about that it is awesome uh any of you that are batman fans that probably know what the killing joke is it's the a real origin story of the joker mm. there's so many villains out here that everybody just loves to hate and you know i think the reason that a lot of times we love them is because we have to be the bad guys in everyday life sometimes we just have to be the bad guys we have to make the hard decisions we have to stand up and say well it was my choice and it was right or it was wrong but it's my choice and a lot of people look at you like you're the bad guy for whatever you've done or whatever decision you've had to make um, the true bad guys a lot of people are appalled the ones that are just truly evil at heart look at the totalitarian societies that have formed through the years the nazis uh you know north korea mussolini Stalin, you know, those are the true bad guys, the ones that nobody really loves. But you have to sit under their thumb and you have to applaud them. You have to cry when they die because what the outcome of your personal life will be if you don't. So I'm a bad guy. I, I have always had to play the bad guy. You know, I'm a POS. I'm a line sob um you know i've had to make the hard decisions in my life so i kind of could see where one bad day like it says in the killing joke one bad day can change your whole world one bad decision and i think somewhere in the psyche we all know that at some point we will have to make a decision where we are seen as the bad guy that's why we can kind of have a little bit of empathy for these guys for these characters you know, some people say Trump's a bad guy. He's had to make some hard decisions. Some people say Obama was a bad guy. He had to make some hard decisions. You know, I think the only true bad guys is the evil ones. You know, like Hitler and Mussolini and Stalin. You know, but for most of us, the bad guy is something that we have to be. We have to play that character at some point in our life. So we can kind of connect to that. One bad day. Everybody's had that bad day where they're driving home and they just want to get out of the car, open the trunk, pull out a rocket launcher, clear the streets so you can go on home, drink you a cup of tea, take you a bowl of bath, and forget the day ever happened. Some people don't have that. Some people have to live in it, you know. They have mandatory sentences in our country. So if you get caught with marijuana, you can go to jail for a long time. And in that one bad day of you getting pulled over for running a stop sign you didn't see or going a little bit too fast because you're just having a bad day on your ride home, escalates. Next thing you know, you're in jail for five years. Uh, then once you're there, you know, you get in these segregation groups in the prison you don't have no choices what they tell you to do. You're there for five years. They're there for a hundred. They don't have nothing to lose. So when they say go do this or that, next thing you know, you don't have to stab an inmate of a different race, and you're doing 20 more years. So, yeah, one bad day, you know. And then you're in prison having to do what you have to do to survive. Next thing you know, society sees you as this felon, this criminal, this convict, and all you're doing is trying to survive because of one bad day so yeah 
I've had a lot of those days and you know I've been in business I've been in a lot of different things in business you have to be the bad guy sometimes you have to say well if you don't make this payment you don't make that payment and you try to help people but some people just can't be helped and it's the way our society set up you know they said it's capitalist but we're working towards a totalitarian or a authoritarian authoritarian I don't think that's how you say that but anyway society so that's what we're doing you know and sometimes you have to be the bad guy you have to turn off the lights you have to turn off the you know electric the water the internet you have to tell somebody no you have to go do your job to pay your bills whether it be a police officer or a drug dealer so yeah I guess that's why everybody in their psyche in our society the psyche of our society thinks they're a bad guy and it's easy to demonize people without thinking of them you know it's easier to say well they're bad and they're evil than to realize they've had to make decisions they've had a bad day and they got caught up and now you know for the rest of their life they'll be a bad guy because of that one bad day so i guess that's why i like the villains sometimes Sometimes they might have the wrong ideas, but they stand by their principles where an average man wouldn't. Sometimes they might have really bad thoughts, but it's for the right reasons. Sometimes they have to, they're broken and they're hurt inside, and that's how they have to deal with it. And we've all been there, so I think that's why we can all kind of embrace the villain sometimes. We can all embrace the bad guy. Sometimes we have to be the villain. Sometimes we have to be the bad guy. So, until next time, just remember, one bad day, and you might be able to put a smile on somebody's face and turn that day around for them. Whether it be a joke, a laugh, a smile, or just letting them get out in front of you in traffic. Could change their whole day, change their whole destiny. So, until next time, Get your break on. Like and subscribe to get your break on. So you don't forget, hit that bell so you can tell when we are here.